What is this? So dad said, this is God. As he grows, there is a yearning inside for the true Lord. So he's searching, he's searching. And he searched, he's finished from these stones and stuff. He realized these are nothing. And he looked up, he looked up at night and he saw a star. And then he saw the moon in its full glory. And when the moon set, again Ibrahim says that it can't be the moon. Then he saw the sun full glorious blazing, scorching. When the sun set, it clicked. He said, no, no, the one who is Rabb is the one who created that and that and that. I have found my Lord. He is the one that he created all this. And to him I surrender and submit in absolute unity in Tawheed. Ibrahim became a Muhammad. And like night like and day night cannot, and cannot coexist, co the heat and, and shit cannot, cannot coexist. Co this, this fire that's fire burning that inside him inside now him needs now to be manifested. Be manifested. So, he so he went to his went people. To his what people? are these what images, are the these images, idols, idols to which you show so much so devotion? devotion? And they didn't have didn't any have answer. Any so they said, we saw our fathers do this, so we are doing it. Listen to the word, and he's a young man, and this instance the Quran calls him Fata. Laqad verily you are yourselves and your fathers in manifest error. You were wrong, your fathers, before you were wrong. Big thing to say for a little kid. When this continued, and they are like, you know, this is our gods, our fathers worship them, and so on. So Ibrahim alayhi salam in his heart says, I will fix your idols. I will fix them. So then came so the big day of festivities, and traditions say they used to go outside the city. There they used to, you know, celebrate a special day, and everyone in town used to go. So they came to Ibrahim alayhi salam, let's go, he said, I am ill. So they went, and then Ibrahim alayhi salam comes to the temple, oh, he asked them, why don't you speak? Say something, no one see it's just me and you. Say something, why don't you speak? And why aren't you eating? Because this food offering off on them. Why aren't you eating? So he took the axe and started swinging. Ibrahim shattered to bits. All of all of all of all except for the biggest one. And he put the axe on its neck and went home. So when they came in the afternoon, who has done this to our God? Vali man, who's done this? So they said, so they said, we heard a young lad talking about him. They call him Ibrahim. They said, bring him, bring him to them. People. Let's have a Let's have public a trial. trial. So, so they brought him. And, and, and you see when Allah when says, Allah says you, look you, you look at the argument of Ibrahim. Ibrahim. We, gave we gave him advancement of thought and logic. He was a genius amidst the dumb. So he stands. And they, stand. Stand. And they say, and they say and Ibrahim, Ibrahim, did you do this? Do this. No, that big no, that one did. One did. Ask, him ask him if he can speak. Can speak. So, so they looked they look, and they said, Ibrahim, you know they can't speak. Look at the logic of this young man. What will be unto you? Then why are you worshipping them besides Allah? Don't you see that they can't do anything? I've just broken him to pieces. He can't save himself. So what's he going to do for you? They said, burn him. And help and your help gods if you're gonna do you're anything, gonna save, do anything. Faith. save faith. And this is, and this, is, and this, is this is the same the problem, same with, problem humankind. with humankind. When he fails, when he fails at fails logic, 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 when he fails at facts, he, fact, fact. he goes he goes and becomes wild. And the nature, and the nature of this belief is such because they have they have no they ability have no to ability stand the logic of logic. So it goes to bind. So they started to collect firewood. They burnt this fire and, and they fire put and Ibrahim and alayhi salam on a catapult and they shoot him inside. So as Ibrahim makes his way into the fire, the Lord decrees him. Ya naam, O fire, barda, and keep Ibrahim at peace. So Ibrahim landed into the fire and the fire subsided and eventually Ibrahim walked out, not a hair on his head is hurt.
it is important to understand a couple of characteristics. In a world filled as it is today with immorality and sin and vice and indecency, the Lord is the same one, the same Allah that answered dua of Nuh alayhi salam, the same one that helped Ibrahim alayhi salam and the old other prophets that you will hear about. Allah is the same Allah So you have Allah Rabbul Azza Nothing can Nothing stand can in the face of the logic. Ismail saw his father. He ran to him and hugged him very tightly. He could not believe his eyes. He was very happy to see his father after a long, long time. It was a very happy time for both of them. But one day, Allah decided to test Ibrahim. One night when the Prophet was sleeping, he saw a dream. In his dream, the Prophet saw himself killing his son as a sacrifice to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet woke up and ignored it as it was just a dream. But the next night, he saw the same dream again. This time he realized that this was not just a dream and that Allah was asking him to sacrifice his own son. The Prophet went to his son and told him about the dream. Ismail realized that it was an order from Allah. Do what Allah has asked you to, he told his father. The next day, the Prophet took a rope and a knife and set out for Mount Arafat along with his son. Upon reaching the top of the mountain, Ismail asked his father to tie his hand and legs so that he might not struggle during the sacrifice. The Prophet obliged and tied his hands and legs. Then he blindfolded himself so that he won't have to watch his son suffer. The Prophet raised his knife, but then suddenly he heard the voice from the sky. He took off his blindfold and saw a sheep being sent from heaven. Allah had sent the sheep to be sacrificed instead of Ismail. The Prophet was really happy because his son was going to be alive. The Prophet and his son had just passed a difficult test from Allah. Leave your country and your relatives and your father's home and go to a land that I will show you. And I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and give you a great name so that you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and will curse anyone who curses you. And through you, all people on earth will be blessed. نفرت کا پیچ ہو رہا ہے میرے رسالت میں پناہ مانتا مانتا to have food. The strangers went in and sat down for food. The Prophet served them a roasted calf, but the strangers did not touch the food at all. The Prophet started to fear. Then the angels comforted the Prophet and asked him not to fear at all. They told him that they were actually the angels sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They informed him that they came to his house to deliver a good news. 
They said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was going to give them a son and that he should name him Ishaq. They also told him that his son would be a prophet. Sarah could not believe her ears. How could that be true? She wondered. I am so old. Then the angel said all these things are possible to refer to a child. The prophet named him Ishaq as the angels told him. Has chosen from amidst humankind a friend, and he chose Ibrahim as his friend. And in the 73 places that he mentioned this beloved friend of his in the Quran, any time you read it, you can't help but notice that Allah loved this man. There's a special bond between the one that created Subhan al Khaliq, between the Dhul Arsh al Majid and Ibrahim alayhi salam. And it is no secret why. Allah Rabbul Azza says, any time we tested Ibrahim with certain words and certain tasks and certain missions, Ibrahim perfected and excelled in all artists. And this and dunya this is dar of ibtila, so, so this is a test. test. And the test of Ibrahim didn't start middle ages or old age. It started at a very young age. He opened his eyes. Can you imagine opening your eyes and around you it's an ocean of shirk. Idols and images and vain statues that the, the one that Allah created to be his vice gerent. The best of Allah's creation is now humbling himself to stone. So in this climate, Ibrahim is born. Psychologically, you would have anticipated for him to follow the trend. Imagine, Imagine his father his is father the maker, is the maker, of, maker it. of it. His father his is the fashion of the idols. Idol. It's, it's bad for business if you go, if against, you go against, it. against it. And this is why and this the is Quran, why Quran says, says, we gave we Ibrahim gave advancement, advancement of thought and logic. And logic. We opened, we opened his, his heart and gave him maturity of ideas and understanding. So what a young infant age like, this is around and some scholars say seven, eight years old.